Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Today we're trying out something new. Today we're trying out the 66 day meditation challenge. And this challenge is brought on to you by Habit Nest that sent me this lovely journal they call the Meditation Sidekick Journal. The journal you're actually gonna use. And the thing was, this wasn't really true for me. I got this book in my mailbox, but I didn't open it. I let it hang there, I let it sit on my table for probably close to 66 days before I was ready to even open the first page. It was that difficult. It's not a heavy book, it's actually quite light. It's really light, easy to take with you on the go, but still I didn't want to pick it up. I didn't want to create a new habit in my life. I didn't want to take time to myself. I didn't want to start to meditate. Part of me was sort of wondering why I even said yes to it at all. I don't need to meditate. I have so much, I'm such a calm person. I have so much focus. I don't need to meditate. I already do it in my own way. At the same time, I couldn't really deny the vast amount of stress in my life. Uh, my own struggles with health, starting a new job. With everything going on, you know, you guys know, you've been seeing my channel, you've been noticing there's not a lot of videos lately, you've been knowing, you've been aware that there are struggles that are going on and I have lost my focus and I've gotten distracted by my life and uh, by all the obstacles I've had lately. And uh, so I realized I needed a 66 day challenge to get back on track. And so I realized I couldn't do it on my own. I couldn't just do it. I couldn't just take time to it. If I would, I would, but I didn't. Instead, I needed a tool. I needed something to get me to really get into the mindset than to challenge my own assumptions. Because, you know, you have assumptions about meditation before you even begin. You think it is something, but you find out it's something very different. I took up my first soundtrack and I was so surprised by what it was. I thought meditation was just walking around, taking a break in nature, it was uh, just, you know, driving around in a car or sitting on the tram to work, you know. I thought I already did that, I thought I already had time to myself, but I didn't realize just how distracted I was during those times. I didn't realize how little control I had over my own thoughts. I didn't realize how distracted I was when I was on the tram or when I was out there walking around. You know, I didn't recognize that uh, meditation was a practice of gaining perspective and control over your own mind and your own thoughts and I didn't realize just how disruptive my thoughts were. So to get you to think about that I, asked, I created a three question questionnaire and this is just a starting process. If you're interested in meditation or if you think meditation could be to you, something for you, then I really recommend that you take this three question questionnaire. It will ask you three questions that will really help you think about why you need to meditate and how meditation could influence your life. And this is a part of the 66 day meditation challenge, but this is my own take on it, my own uh, thought process to help you get started on this. What I came to believe was uh, a lot of the time meditation is about, and this is uh, Meditation is something that scientifically is proven to improve concentration, to improve uh, your mental well-being, to reduce stress, to increase empathy. You know, meditation is said to do a lot of things, a lot of great things. Most of all, I felt it helped me to realize that I didn't have to think every thought. I didn't have to visit every place. I didn't have to... Uh, go back to every situation, you know, every bad experience, every worry, every expectation, every duty. I didn't have to actually visit and get into all those things. And so I started to think about my mind in an entirely different way instead of as a, you know, pressure cooker that had to process through everything one thing at a time. I started think of, thinking about it as a web of ideas, you know, there's a web with a million threads going around everywhere and there are ships coming out and going out from your mind. There are new thoughts constantly emerging, you know, if you let go of one thought, a new one will come and if you let go of that thought, a new one will come after that, you know, the mind is a very busy place, it's a hub, it's uh, a metropolitan, it's uh, like New York but inside and you know, that means you can get on a ship, you can get distracted, you can start getting into a thought, 
And then you can go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why am I on this boat? <laughs> and uh, you can get off that boat. And you can go back and you can get on another boat. And the thing that this kind of teaches you is I am not my thoughts. I think a lot of people overly identify with their thoughts. They believe they are their thoughts. I think, therefore, I am. My thoughts are who I am, and they define my being. And the fact that I have this thought means I am that kind of person, or I feel that a certain way. But a lot of the time, we are not our thoughts. We are also the space in between them, and the unconscious uh, aspects of it. And this is why I'm so interested in meditation. My question is, how does meditation influence your psychology, your very being, your personality? How does it connect to the use of different young and cognitive functions? What is its relationship to, for example, introverted intuition or extroverted sensing? How does it influence our cognitive personality and our mood and our mental state? How does it influence our well-being and cognitive development? Can it influence our development of our own thought process and our own self-awareness? Can it lead to increased interpersonal awareness? Can it help give some insight into the self and into who we are? So with this 66 day challenge I'm gonna be doing and running you guys through some questions and trivia and some thought processes that will help you really understand meditation as a process as one of the most first practical tools of the channel to really improve personal self-discovery and to guide and navigate you through self-discovery. What I came to realize during my first uh, steps through meditation was some really deep and important tidbits of insight that really challenged my self-awareness and my idea of who I was. I came to understand through my first steps, my first uh, clumsy waddling into this process of meditation that I wasn't who I thought I was and I didn't feel the way I thought I felt. And uh, I think that in that way, I think meditation is a tool for youngins to really push themselves into recognizing who they are and how they think and how their thoughts feel. I think a lot of the time, especially when you're a highly sensitive person, you need to do and engage in these practices to really get to know your mind. A lot of people don't really know their mind and they don't know how to tell apart their own thoughts and feelings from the thoughts and feelings of other people. How do I tell between my internalized dialogue and my externalized dialogue? What do I know that I know and what do I know that my parents told me? What do I feel that I feel and what do I feel, think I feel that other people feel for me? What thoughts and feelings have I attracted and drawn on to from other people? And which thoughts and feelings are my own? I think a lot of time we have to increase and learn to adjust the volume bar to ourselves. And I think as the process goes, I should challenge myself to meditate longer and longer. And I think I should push myself to take some time every day to do it. I should take this 66 day challenge to really push myself to every day sleep on every thought, every idea, every experience that I have. What that means is I run through and I do so many things throughout the day. I visit new places, I see new things, I have conversations with people, I have and read about things, I open up new Wikipedia articles, I go through and I uh, make decisions, I rush through a uh, meal because I have to get on the train, you know. The mind, there are so many things happening all the time. And there is truly only one way to gain perspective into all these things. And I think meditation is truly one of the few ways to truly gain and to take and give yourself perspective and breathing space in between all these things. So I think this way, because a lot of the time, you know, the walks we take, the uh, things we do on a daily basis, they feel relaxing and they are calming to a degree, but they also contain their ideas, their own struggles, their own stressors, you know, they contain the uh, internal monologues, the stress, the uh, shame, the guilt of something you should have done. They contain, you know, before you fall asleep, uh, those moments thinking back to your day of everything stupid you did, you know. A lot of the time we think we are relaxing, but we are really punishing ourselves. And um, 
meditation can help us get back on track you know it can help us recognize when we are walking or when we are about to fall asleep or when we are sitting down that we should really be sitting down we should really be walking we should really be falling asleep we should not be telling ourselves what we need to do tomorrow we should not be dwelling on what we should have done today we should not be worrying about how late we are to the appointment we should not be stressing about what we need to do when we get there a lot of time the stressful commute the distractions around us the loud noises are more overwhelming and more uncomfortable than we realize and uh, anything that can combat this any uh, calming relaxing soundtrack to the sound of uh, falling rain or nature or anything that gets you to really tune away from you know modern life stress is a way to improve your mental health and your own well-being I think we need a balance uh, in today's life between the things we do and the things we don't do and I think we need that to really gain mindset and self-awareness Today's uh, video is sponsored by Habit Nest, and if you use the link down below, you'll get this book uh, for a very, very small price. And this book, it contains all these kind of things like affirmations, life-changing ideas, thought-provoking exercises, questions to really get you to understand yourself and what you are doing. They contain everything from tapes that you can listen to on SoundCloud to just really just tune into yourself, your mind. It contains, you know, uh, these things that really get you to check in with yourself. How do I feel right now? How did this make me feel? How did meditation improve my life today? What did it do to me, to my mood, to my thoughts, to my experiences? And it contains, you know, some crucial information on forming a healthy habit. The idea is you need 66 days to build a strong habit in your life. You need to sit down for at least 66 days, day after day, for a few minutes or 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just to, you know, really build this lifestyle and to really change and rewire your mind. You know, I told you in the beginning, the mind has a static component and a dynamic component. It has a static component and the static component makes a lot of sense. The static component only sees your current life, your own current situation, your current experience. The dyna dynamic side, it sees or it cu is curious, deeply curious about what is on the other side of this horizon of self. And that's uh, the side that I always feel we should be encouraging. I'm always trying to encourage people to find flow and growth. And I'm always trying to encourage people to challenge themselves, uh, to go out of their comfort zone. And it's funny enough uh, how meditation, which sounds like such a relaxing thing, is and can be so uncomfortable. It's funny how something as easy and such such a relaxing experience and such a mind-boggling positive experience as meditation can feel so difficult and can feel so hard on people. But the science is there. The proof is there. Meditation seems to drastically improve our life in many ways, some very profound. And today we are starting on that challenge. So use the link down below, get the meditation sidekick journal, embark on this side quest with me. Take the form, the three question questionnaire to really start thinking about your own situation and how meditation can influence your life. And follow me day by day as we work through these things and uh, think about and reflect on the practice of meditation and psychology and self-awareness. Can we truly discover ourselves by taking time to meditate? Can we figure out something about ourselves that we couldn't by just walking through life and stressing through and running through a trivia game or a personality test online? So yeah, this is a sponsored video, but the love and trust I have for the people at Habit Nest is real and I believe in the work they do and I believe that this can be the start of something very positive. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you have any thoughts or comments about com meditation, please leave them down below and I hope to see you all as a part of this project and I hope to hear your testimonials and your own experiences and your own thoughts on this. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.